Welcome to One Mind Zen Hermitage. I remember being a very small child and life was good. I ran around in the sunshine and I went to bed when I was tired. And I laughed when I was happy and I cried when I was sad. Then they told me that I needed to go to school and learn. So I went to school and I started to learn uh, letters and numbers and interpersonal relationships. And that was hard and it was scary and I didn't have friends. So they said, next school year will be better you can start over so i happily ran into summer and when the new school year came i came back to school i was all happy and excited and all the same problems persisted and so i made it through that school year and then there's the next school year and that was going to be better and then one year we we're going to go to a new school and I was excited when I went to the new school, I was going to be happy and I was going to have friends and things were going to be easier. And so I started at the new school and all of the same problems persisted. Well, then I was gonna to go to high school and I went to a high school in a whole new district and it was a chance to start over and I was gonna be happy and I was gonna have friends and it was gonna be great. And I went to the high school and all the same problems persisted. So then I'm done with high school and now I'm going to get a boyfriend and now I'm going to be happy because I'm going to have somebody that loves me and that's when it's going to be really great. So I get a boyfriend and things are okay. Um, not super good, not super bad and we decide to get married and this is going to be great because now I'm going to have security and I'm going to be happy. And it's going to be just the best thing ever. So we get married and for a little while, I'm happy, but this comfort sets in. So now we decide to have a child. So we're going to have a child and I'm going to be a mother and it's going to be fantastic. And, and I'm going to be fulfilled and I'm going to be happy. So I have a child and this tiny, beautiful little creature comes into my life and he's absolutely perfect in every single way. But he keeps me up all night and he has to be constantly felt, fed and constantly held. And um, I'm tired and exhausted. And you know what, you know, I really wanted a girl and this is a boy. Well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why I'm a little unsatisfied. So, I don't want to have any more children. So we talk about it and now we decide to adopt a child. And hey, this is great. I always wanted to adopt a child. I'm going to, I'm going to get to choose a child and bring her home and everything will be great. And I'll have, you know, a sister for my son. I'll have the perfect two children, a boy and a girl. And I won't feel this sense of unease and, and dissatisfaction. So we travel overseas and we find this beautiful little girl and she's perfect in every way. And she's a year old, she's almost the same age as our son. And I'm so happy and we get all of her paperwork and we get her home and I'm so happy, except things are really hard. I'm not really sure why I feel such a sense of unease. And that happens and happens until one day I think, well, maybe the problem is the relationship. I'm gonna be happier not in this relationship. So we divorce. And for a little while, I feel better. Things are better. You know, I don't see my kids as often, but I have more free time. Hey, this is, this is okay, right? Except I feel kind of dissatisfied, a little unhappy and a lot uncomfortable. So maybe the problem wasn't that I need to be single. Maybe the problem was just that I was in the wrong relationship. So I'm going to get a new relationship and Hey, I'm going to start this new job and this new job is awesome. And I'm going to feel so much, um, fulfillment 
from doing this new thing and it's you know it's giving back to the world and and it's public service so I have a new relationship and that's okay and I have this new job and I'm teaching children and this is it this is what I've been waiting for all of this time and I'm so happy and I'm so fulfilled and I like my coworkers, and I love the children and you know I don't see my kids as often as I would like I still have the kids and about three or four years go by and I realize I don't like the part of the job that they've put me in where I don't get to teach the kids so much anymore. And this great, um, amazing job that was so fulfilling is suddenly uncomfortable. Well, I don't really like being uncomfortable anymore. I've been uncomfortable as long as I can remember. So I better go find a new job. You know? And maybe a new boyfriend while I'm at it, huh? Because if I'm uncomfortable, it's got to be somebody's fault, not my fault. So I get a new job and it's fast and it's exciting and there's adrenaline and I have all this responsibility and all this freedom and it's fantastic and I have this new boyfriend and you know he did this job before so this is all great and then my body starts to age in some ways that make doing the new job really uncomfortable really physically uncomfortable but also mentally uncomfortable so um, I can't really do this job well anymore, but it's okay because I'm going to move to a whole other state and I'm going to get married to this new man. And we're going to have this great life and I'm going to be so fulfilled and happy. So I moved to a whole new state and I'm not very happy. So I start doing Zen because Zen's going to help me wake up. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get enlightened. And that's what I've been missing my whole life. I just needed to get enlightened. So I dive head first and I meditate for an hour every day and I do yoga and, and, you know, I do a very careful diet and I just, I know I'm happy. I'm so happy. This is awesome. Except why am I so unhappy? Oh, well, maybe I just need a new divorce. So I get a divorce and now I'm going to be happy because I'm just, I'm away from men. It's all done. It's over with. I never need another man, but man, I am so happy. Except I'm feeling pretty uncomfortable. Things are really hard, single with physical issues. And you know, Zen, Zen is great and all, but I don't feel very awake. Uh, <laughs> If anything, I, I feel even more confused than when I started. And, you know, Zen is encouraging me to turn towards all this discomfort. I'm not away from the discomfort. I'm even more uncomfortable. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just more aware of just how uncomfortable I am. But it's okay because soon my kids are going to be grown up and they're going to move on and move out. And maybe I can travel and engage in some new hobbies and it's going to be great except that I keep doing Zen. I keep sitting every day. And one day I realize that all this work I've put in didn't make me happy. It didn't make me un less uncomfortable. Um, and I realized one day coming up from a session of meditation that I didn't believe that enlightenment was a thing anymore. Or if it was, it wasn't attainable by me. And life was still uncomfortable and things were still hard and I still don't see my children enough. But now I'm happy. I'm still uncomfortable. But I'm not unsatisfied with it. And so all of this time, the last 40 years, I've spent trying to get to the next place. Trying to find that place where happiness is and trying to find a place where I don't have to be uncomfortable anymore. And it turns out that was the wrong question to ask. Because what I really needed to do was let go of needing to be happy. 
just be here.